Welcome to my channel, everyone. It's Duny at 615, and this is, of course, a pre recorded feed your addiction. Um, it is because I am off doing other things, um, but I look forward to being back with you on next Sunday. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. I do hope that you enjoy the session tonight, that you will also consider subscribing and giving this content a thumbs up. If you are a returning tribe sister, I hope that you had an amazing week. I promise not to keep you long tonight because it is going to be just a little bit of an accessory haul. It's been a little while since I've shown one of those on the channel. It doesn't mean that I haven't been picking up a few additional things along the way. There are some other accessories that I've purchased that I am holding back because I'm waiting for bags uh, to come in to kind of pair up with those. But in the meantime, we're going to dive in. So if you have been following the Dunienberg latest videos, um, you will have seen a video from, let's see, <coughs> excuse me, it starts, well, it didn't start, but says what? My Pursuit of Happiness. Uh, who else? I'm Purse Happy too. Noel Frailer. Um, and there are, I think, a couple of others whose video as says what so eloquently put it didn't come with a warning now i found that very hilarious when she said it in her video because i too was influenced and um even though i did not buy the exact same items i'm considering going back i did find myself very similar to Suz with a bag that I purchased and wanting accessory pieces to go with it. And for the longest, I was on the hunt for the card case. Got the card case, finally found it online at Dillard's and I moved into it and I carried the heck out of it. I carried the card case and still haven't carried the bag. That's a mute point. The point is, I thought that the card case was all that I needed. But that evidently is not true because I went back and felt the need to pick up the wristlet. Now, this wristlet is one of those things that even if you don't have a bag in this collection, I don't know that you can go wrong with it in your collection because the pattern and the colors are absolutely gorgeous. This medium wristlet can be used in so many different ways. You can use it as a contact case on the go with like your eye drops and extra contact lenses. You can use it as a little first aid kit with band-aids and antiseptic and um, you know, the, the bug bite spray. You can use it as a small on the go wallet or wristlet and put your cards or card case, some cash, even drop some coins in it. You can use it as a tech case and throw your earbuds, AirPods, headphones, um, along with your, uh, charging cable and your brick. And then you have everything that you need on the go for your phone. You can use it as a pill case for your daily vitamins or on the go travel. You can use it if you need like antacids. You can use it um, for a on the go um, sanitizer kit with like a small hand sanitizer, small pack um, of wipes or maybe wipes that you've pulled out and put in like a little small Ziploc or sandwich bag that would go perfectly in here along with the hand. There are just so many different ways to use this that if you don't have this one, then you should pick up a, a, a different one, right? Whether it's leather or pebbled, whether it's Florentine, this is just an item that I think everyone 
should have in their collection. And of course it goes perfectly. Not to mention that when I'm not even carrying this bag, this accessory will work with so many other pieces. And as we go into the spring and summer months when we're carrying maybe brighter bag colors or even your neutral colors, this just adds a little ray of sunshine and a little pop that will also pair well with several different color solid accessories in your collection. So I did add this one and um, yeah, it was one of those where I thought I don't need it. I already have the accessory and then I FOMO kicked in. Um, this I think is the wallet. I did purchase the clutch, continental clutch wallet for this bag. And it was because at the time it was the largest wallet available that I could find. And I thought, mm, maybe, 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 maybe I can make it work. Um, but I did go back and I hope this is not a repurchase. I don't know. Somebody let me know in the in the chat or in the comments but this is the um large zip around wristlet which is just a, a large wallet with a detachable wristlet strap here i love this together and the beauty of the wallet and the wristlet is that if I decided to not use this as a wallet because I have this, which makes sense, this then can become a little small catch-all or hold any one of those earlier mentioned um, set of items to pair perfectly. So front and back. I love that on this one, this one I don't have any of the blue. So each pattern each layout is going to be completely different on this one i got mainly the pink in the front but um i can always switch it and if i needed the blue it has all of the colors so whether you're getting the black background there's one that has a cream background and then there's one that has a blue background again i think that these are amazing pieces that can be paired with so many different things it also means now that I have my preferred style of wallet, I am likely going to gift the Continental wallet uh, to a family member so that they can enjoy it because this is my preference. Um, the interior is a light vaquetta, almost raw in color, has plenty of card slots. It has the accordion style um, organization here in the inside, so plenty of additional space. Coin or zipper pocket for coins or other um, items that you wanna keep secure. And then additional card slots. I just like this one because it allows for a little bit of everything. You can slide your banknotes or your cash here, coins here, checkbook, receipts and then you still have a place for all of your credit debit reward and um gift card so that is this one and here we go on the front and here we go at the back all right so those are the first two accessories I am really, really on the fence about the coin case because I'm not really sure how my keys will work in there. And I know from experience that it's a little bit of a Tetris situation in order to get your cards in and out of that coin case. So let me know down below um, in the comments if you are watching the replay or in the chat if you don't have issues getting like cards in and out of the coin case or if there's some other way that you use the actual coin case other than as a small card case on the go okay <clears throat> couple of other things so i did i, I just 
could not get enough of the DB75 print. And I went back and got Lola. I actually think I picked up two Lexis in this print, thinking that I was ordering another, ordering the Lola. But um, you've seen this style before on my channel. It's just the print. I beg of you that if you have not yet purchased a bag and or matching accessories from the DB75 print, take it from all of us that are going crazy over the reappearance of this pattern that once it disappears, and it likely will disappear again in true Dooney fashion, that you go ahead and pick it up. Because after it's gone, you're going to want it and then you're going to be stuck looking for it, paying top dollar on the secondary market. And that is either secondary new because somebody is smart enough to take advantage of the business opportunity and they're purchasing uh, during the amazing sales and then holding on. And when there is a void in the market, they will be able to charge you top dollar. And then alternatively is the person that is also purchasing now, but they are going to use and enjoy their pieces. And then when they are tired of it, or maybe even once they have dogged the piece out, they will list it on the market to resale and want full price or very close. Um, because again, the, the piece has disappeared from the market. So I would just ask that whether you are a big wallet, a little wallet, whether you are a card case, whether you are a wristlet, whether you are a small bag, big bag, whatever, or something in between, if you have not stopped and taken a look at this collection and pulled the trigger on something, if your budget allows you to do so, I would highly recommend that you take advantage. I just don't think that all of us are wrong. And um, yeah, <clears throat> there you could say we're influencing each other, but I think we're all influencing each other because there were many of us that missed the first opportunity to take advantage of this collection. And then there were those that were smarter than the rest of us that took advantage of this collection when it originally debuted. And now we're all just catching up because we see the comparison between other higher um, in luxury items with a much larger price tag. Um, and quite on, you just can't go wrong with Dooney, their quality and this color assortment will be perfect for so many of your bags and year round. So don't miss out on that. The next is another Lexi. And I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do about her strap. I'm going to try her with the center section out but I'm likely going to cut it off because Lexi just seems to be better with a chain strap, which is not available or offered from duty. So I'll be using my coach uh, pieces, accessories for that. This is the Lexi. It looks black on camera, but you know better. This is Lexi in navy. So let's see if I can get... So that's Lexi crossbody, and there you can see the color is navy. I don't know what it is about Dooney's navy as of late, but it is very, very dark, very difficult to tell in person and on camera if there is any glimmer of blue. But um, I decided I would pick this up, and I am, okay, so when I first showed Lexi, I was a little disappointed because remember uh, my deluxe card case, Lil Mo, <laughs> um, didn't afford much else to go into Lexi. So I was a little disappointed, a little disappointed, not enough to return, not enough to not cut the strap off. But just from a real estate standpoint, I don't feel like I got exactly what I was hoping for. Um, I have decided that I am going to try my hand at a different, smaller styled wallet or venture back to a card case to see 
if I can get a little bit more um, bang for my buck out of Lexi's. If not, she's going to just become a cosmetic in my bag, which is really a waste. So I'm hoping that, <coughs> excuse me, a smaller, um, for, you know, pr profile of wallet will allow me to take advantage of more space. I, you know, I keep moving this around because I'm looking at it on camera trying to see where the blue is, but it just looks awfully dark and black to me. So here we have again Lexi and Navy and Lola. There is a size difference. Um, me being a big bag lover, Lola is more my jam. She has um, quite a bit more real estate to take advantage of. But if I'm being quite honest, if I'm putting a bag inside of a bag, I have to say Lexi because she's more large wallet size. This once weighed down is really going to feel the you're going to feel the weight and it's going to feel like a bag inside of a bag which can make your carry <clears throat> heavy, awkward. Um it's also as I with Ella so I enjoyed Ella but I did have an epiphany my alto Ella in saddle while I was carrying her where I'm opening my bag and I'm pulling out a bag to pull my wallet out wait what yes big bag my tote my actual purse I'm pulling out small bag which is the alto Ella and then opening it to pull out my wallet. And I just had this epiphany standing in a line as I'm, you know, pulling all this stuff out and then you gotta reverse it and put everything back away. I was like, this is, this, 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 I don't think this makes sense for me. So I'm gonna try it in a different way. Um, I am, almost at the point where I'm tempted to say that I'm probably not a grab and go. I'm more of a grab a wristlet and go. But we're gonna give this one more shot and see because I've purchased a couple of these and I wanna be able to try to utilize them. So I'm not giving up just yet. Okay, so next, next is, um, I did not need this because I have a Nolita in red, but this is Florentine. And how can you say no to red Florentine? How can I say no to red Florentine? You may be able to say no. I have a difficult time saying no to red and especially red Florentine. This one um not as smooth as i would like the color even to me isn't as even or as rich so maybe i should have left this alone i kind of um if you haven't watched carmen hawkins she has a haul where she shows her uh florentine lexi in natural and it is very pebbled and I, I don't know. I'm not sure. This. Mm. Okay, I'm going to let you see it up close. It looks like it might already be kind of dry. Like it needs a good condition. It doesn't have. A lot of luster to it it also isn't very punchy in red color and that's sad <laughs> for me because I love a good red but I just don't I don't know about this piece I'm sure I'm gonna keep it because I've already opened it I don't know why it didn't catch why the texture didn't catch my attention through the plastic but it's not 
it's just dry and dull. Maybe I like it a little bit more after I condition it, but um, I shouldn't have to condition a, a bag fresh out of uh, packaging that's newly released this year and it already needs conditioning. I shouldn't have to do that, but looks like we've got some they're not scratches because they won't buff out it's just um in the in the hide and then there's some wrinkling all right i'm moving on moving on moving on because i can't fix it right here right now but i can wear it out I, and by wear it out, I mean, by the time I get finished with this, it will probably look like my large Florentine Russell that I have carried and traveled with for years. It will probably, this looks more like that now than um, when I first got that. This this already, it almost looks like it's a little Bordeaux-ish, but it's, it's red. There we go, right there red and that's the Lexi crossbody so okay <clears throat> now that's it for Dooney but I did pick up a couple of accessories that I'm excited about from coach and it is the whole year of the tiger for the Chinese New Year and there were just a couple of pieces that I thought just might have a really good spot in my collection. And <clears throat> this first one is the corner zip wristlet. Very similar to the Dooney one. Top zip, corner zip. Similar, <clears throat> let's see here. Both have wristlet straps. Dooney's is detachable. Coach is not. The Dooney one is a little bit shorter. Just a, you see that? Just a little shorter. And they are the same height. They are the same height. And about... This, they are the same width. This one has a little bit of padding, stuffing in it. <clears throat> Let me get this one out. Okay, so here we go. There. Very similar, just the coach one is a smidgen longer. Um, interior organization, Dooney has the light interior and a key ring so that you can uh, detach a, a car key or your house keys or, you know, pick a hand sanitizer, whatever you want, and you can either drop it inside or actually zip and Keep it on the outside and then the coach version again non-detachable wristlet strap Dooney has both a zipper pull and a detachable wristlet strap this one has a dark lining Dooney again has the light this one from an organization standpoint has two card slots but it's very dark so I picked up this and it will go well i plan red it will go great with red just kind of a, a little pop um i don't know that i'm gonna like it with navy but let's check and see especially since this looks black i'm gonna love it with any black bags that i end up carrying but you can't again you can't tell that this is navy but i guess you could put navy with it um, this will also go great inside like taupe, bone, ecru, natural Florentine. I would even say you could put it with your 
chestnut. I'm not a big chestnut fan, but um, it would, I could see it possibly working in chestnut. Maybe. Um, okay, and then <clears throat> the next thing that I picked up is the matching the leader because I can't seem to get enough of these kinds of pieces even though I just said a bag in a bag for me was not working I know what I said I'm just showing you what I bought okay don't don't judge me all right so here is the no leader what I um and this is the no leader uh 19 not the 15 I don't think they came out with a 15 and this one the color is called honey black multi so this they're calling this honey and I'm trying there was another um Dooney color that I think this would pair well with um oh I just wrote sand I think this will also pair well with sand and Safiano Natural. I think this will, it, it, Natural is going to be a little more brown, but I think this would pair well with it. Um, what I found interesting about these together is that there is no piping. There is not a stitch of white, not even a white wristlet strap on the wristlet. Um, it does have coach here you know in the sand and then of course you have the text logo but for whatever reason and i don't understand they decided to put white piping on this as opposed to black or no piping at all so it i don't know it looks kind of odd to me I get the red hang tag because again I you know I get the red even though this doesn't have a stitch of red but I'm not sure why they chose to pipe in white the interior, of course, is dark, and it has both two uh, card slots here, and it also has a slip pocket. I think I can get my phone in this. Let's see. Let's see. So my phone fits with no problem. If I, again, downsized and did a card case, I'm sure I would be fine. The wristlet, if you wanted to use it as a wallet inside, I don't know why you would, but in case you wanted to, that will also work in lieu of a card case. I think you'd get better you know, use of the space if you did a card case. But it will fit. I am, I don't know, this white. I don't know that it's enough. I don't know. Why did they do that? I'm, I, yeah, I tell you, I am still a toddler when it comes to coach assess, coach in general. Um, because I had for many, many years not been a fan of the brand. Um, I've discussed on this channel for many times why. But I am so over Coach and the whole color block situation because I don't know who comes up with the colors that they block together, but they are often not colors that many of us, and now I'm talking about me, that I would pair together in my wardrobe 
and I'm not going to do it just because somebody put it together on a bag. And this feels like that miss. I just, I, I will carry it. I will use it. I'm hoping it's going to grow on me and that I'll pair it with something that's going to make me say, okay, I get it and I like it that way. But that white piping seems out of place to me. That's, that's my two cents and that's 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 what I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there um I did really quick want to check I've got a stack of accessories still here what I wanted to check is I've got this um I think it's violet is it violet okay what does it say on the tag let me see if it's still on the orchid so the color orchid, I, I'm going to try to give this wallet a try because it does have plenty of card slots in it and it's a, it's a full size wallet. I fell out of love immediately with this wallet um, when we were all buying the purple accessories during the time that Prince actually passed away. And I picked up this wallet, Orchid, thinking that it was going to match my purple bag. And as soon as it got here, I was like, no, and I got to get the purple, purple wallet. I did get the purple wallet, but now I have this Orchid. And although this style wallet, this wallet style is the only one I have in my collection, I am vowing that I am going to give it a try because it does have... Um, you know a place for your cash and it has 12 I think it's is it 12 8 why can't I count it has eight card slots card slots which meets my minimum card slot needs so I'm going to give it a try and see if I can make this work but I wanted to see honestly if I use this as wallet what could I use as a catch-all? The trims are a little different in color, right? So you can see that there. Little, lit, uh, no, it is a smidgen darker, but I think they're supposed to be the same. And right there in that light, they do appear to be the same. But I'm thinking wallet and catch-all or wallet and, I don't know, cosmetic, which is basically now like hand lotion and chapstick and hand sanitizer. It's very different than it was uh, before the pandemic started. But I thought maybe I could pair these together. And if not this, then I also, I don't think this one's going to work. Mm. <clears throat> Wallet, catch all. Now that I do like together. You can see the colors a little bit better here. I do like that together. I wouldn't need these two together, not to mention the colors are not um, close enough for me. But let me try one more as a catch-all. And now that I do like together. The, I guess that's, is that ginger? I don't know, but I do like catch-all wallet and I think either these two or these two will get paired together and I kind of like this a little better with it you let me know do you like this the Dooney um, wallet and Brit from coach together do you like that better I like that better. I didn't realize the uh, piping on this was such a good match on here. 
and this um I can't even think of the color I'm drawing a blank now but I Brit or do you like the wristlet the medium wristlet and the Dooney wallet together better I think this gives me more function more organization this is though same brand in kind so that is it for tonight um with one exception i would like to um create an april tag so it gives everyone you know another week or two to try to think of your list and maybe if you own these items to pull your items together um, but what I like to do is we did um, bags, uh, I think it was bags to start your Dooney collection with. We did that one in 2021. For 2022, I'd like to um, ask you ladies to create a video of the top 10 items everyone should have in their Dooney collections, whether that's a print, whether that's a leather, whether it's a bag style, whether it's some kind of function, put your own spin on it, but 10 items that every Dooney collector should have in their collection. And if you would, have your videos ready for the month of April. Um, and I will create a playlist. If you would tag me um, when you post your video. I'm trying to think of a cutesy hashtag so that we can all um, find them that hasn't been used. Um, I'll think of it and just, if you've been tagged in this video, just look down below and um, I will list the hashtag to tag your video on um i'm gonna do uh 12 people others please feel free to tag other people into this tag and if you haven't been tagged but you have um a, a list of 10 things that you think every dooney collector should have in their collection please by all means participate I am tagging says what because it is bound to be funny and informative and have an interesting take. Um, Mono's Beauty, Lucinda Quimbley, Mrs. Q, DJ King, Carmen Hawkins, Tara's Makeup and Handbags, Determined to Be, Noelle Frayer, Military Mom, LV Lux Girl and Purse Diverse. If you ladies wouldn't mind sharing um, the top 10 things that you think every Duty and Bark collector should have in their collection, I cannot wait to see your videos in the month of April. Thank you so very much for joining me this evening for Feed Your Addiction. I look forward to being back with you live and in person on next week. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up. If you enjoy this kind of content and you have not yet subscribed, I kindly ask that you consider becoming a part of my tribe and uh, coming back to not only participate in a future feat, your addiction, but hopefully you'll stick around and check out a few more videos. Have an amazing week, everyone. Be safe. Continue to wear your mask. Wash your hands. Be socially distant. We're not hearing as much right now about COVID because everything is overshadowed with um, you know, Ukraine and Russia and these ridiculous ga gas prices, um, but it's not over yet. So just continue to be diligent. Um, be safe. Enjoy an extra hour of uh, sunlight. And until next time, I do hope you find something that feeds your addiction. Take care.